It's in this Minsk courthouse that Svetlana Tikhanovskaya is being tried in absentia for high treason and other charges, some of which she says she doesn't even know of, for she's never been able to speak to her lawyer. She's been refused access to court documents, and she's not allowed to participate via video in the closed-door trial. In exile for the past two and a half years, since spearheading massive pro-democracy protests in Belarus, the 40-year-old spoke to world leaders in Davos. She says her trial is just one of many attempts by Alexander Lukashenko to crack down on dissidents. Uh, these trials uh, are not trials at all. It shows, it's farce, but not, it's, it's, has nothing to do with justice at all. So it's personal revenge of uh, Lukashenko, of his cronies, not only on me, but on other people who are opposing him. The high-profile trial is far from the only one. Her husband, whose presidential aspirations were cut short after being arrested and sentenced to 18 years in prison, saw new charges levied on him on Monday. The jailed Nobel Prize winner, Aless Bialatsky, is also in the dock on charges of funding opposition movements. And the trial of Polish-Belarusian journalist Andrzej Pachabet has also begun. He too is facing 12 years behind bars for criticizing Lukashenko's regime. Europe's High Commissioner of Foreign Affairs, Josep Borrell, raised the alarm in a statement, saying the regime's repression has reached an unprecedented level. Human rights groups estimate that over 1,400 people are in prison in Belarus for politically motivated reasons.